The film starts showing the psychiatric hospital. There were many mad patients. A mad person is sketching on the wall in a room. But his life ends while sketching. He falls down from there. Then a man appears there. He is the same man who was making this man draw the sketch. He was making to draw the map of a city because he wanted to search for someone. The scene turns and a boy named Michelle is seen. He has a classmate whom he used to like. And today is the party of Michelle with her. He had never revealed to his classmate that he likes her. He is a meek and he used to take her photos and make videos. Later, he watches them. One day, it is seen that. Once it is seen that a lady police officer visits in the high school and says to them, you had already known. One of your classmates is lost. He is not being searched for the several days. The lady police officer who has visited here is not anyone else but the mother of Michelle. Michael's nose begins bleeding when he is in his classroom. He immediately moves to the lavatory but his school fellows used to tease him too much. They also start to tease him here, because he is very fragile. And he did not know how to communicate perfectly. It was the cause that he did not get courage to express himself before his classmate. And he used to be helpless whenever someone teased him. He was totally fed up from this behavior. He used to think, would that I had taught them a lesson on a day. But he has not enough strength that he could take any step. Michelle is extremely happy for tonight. Because it has been told to you that there is a party in the house of his classmate. He is very excited with thought of attending a party. He goes to a costume shop where he begins to see the variety of a fancy dress party's costumes. Then a small kid says to him that I give you a superhero costume. It is a mystic costume. Michelle asks him, oh, it means I will look good wearing it. That kid says to him, yeah, you will look good and also attain the powers. Michelle returns to his home, taking it as a fun. He has brought costume at home. But he is sitting on the sofa in dejected mood, coming to the house. Then his mother asks him, coming there, what happened with my son? Michelle says, I have brought the costume but kids will have worn the beautiful dress in a Halloween party. Look at my costume. Then his mother says to him, just be the same as you are. Never imitate anyone. Otherwise your own qualities will also be suppressed. My son will look the more beautiful. Actually, Michael's father was not alive. So his mother used to love him a lot. But, Michelle, used to remember him. If my father was alive. They they taught the lesson to those boys who tease me. Now the night falls and, Michelle, moves to that party after getting ready. Now all children begin to tease him in that place. We know that you have saved the photos and videos of that girl in your mobile phone. You have affections for her. But what is this? You take her photos stealthily. How bad she will feel knowing it. Then they play the photos and the videos of that girl in the party. Witnessing it, that girl's comes into rages. She begins to show her anger on, Michelle, and he locks himself into a lavatory. The kids are asking him from outside, what happened? You felt afraid. Oh, poor guy has frightened from a girl. Michelle is not wanting to face them, because the outsider kids are very mannerless. He starts to communicate himself inside, looking into the mirror. That kid had told that this costume is powerful. Costume, what is your power? Can you make me invisible right now? Then the light is switched off. Michelle is really disappeared as the light is switched on. He had become invisible. Let's see the routine of Michelle. When he brushes his teeth, getting up then it is revealed that he has really become invisible. Michelle is very excited for this. And he says that I have got mercy. I can take revenge from them in the classroom when I wish. Now, Michelle begins to go to school. Then a man is stood at a distance, wearing black sunglasses. He observes him. Anyhow, Michelle moves into the classroom. But he is not appearing before anyone. So he takes the advantage of this. He shoots out the ink on the teacher. And teacher thinks that it has been shot by the seated student there. So she gets that boy out of the classroom. And he takes the revenge from the other students, taking the advantage of his being invisible. Then it is known that two more students are also lost from the school. And they have recorded a video as a message before the disappearance. We are leaving this place willingly. We are fed up from our houses. We want to live alone, spending an autonomous life. Then a psychiatrist visits in the school on this day. Who starts to explain the students. You are all young and the parents are the necessity of everyone. They only need our goodness. Otherwise, it will leave no effect what other person's kid does. Try to understand this reality. Then, Michelle, senses as he is again becoming invisible. He immediately runs from that place. And all think that he is disliking the counseling of the psychiatrist. His sister notices as he comes to her that his brother's dress is visible but he is not. She says to him, brother, you a superhero. Suddenly, Michelle places his hand on her lips. He says, keep quiet. Don't mention it to anyone. I have started to become invisible from the time I took that costume. There is surely something mysterious. Michelle hears that his mother is talking with someone. Being invisible, Michelle sits before his mother. His mother continues to talk through call as he is not being seen by his mother. Michelle comes to know listening the conversation of his mother. That he is not the biological son of his mother but an adopted child. He is very hurt on it. And he leaves that place. His mother senses as someone has passed from her aside. But she is unaware that her son, Michelle, has become invisible. One day, Michelle is taking a swing, sitting on it. A girl notices the empty moving swing. She comes there and begins to talk to him, realizing his presence. Michelle also begins to talk with her but he is not appearing before her. They are befriended soon. Now, Michelle thinks that he will tell him the fact. In fact, he is saying, Michelle, who can disappear and also her friend. But a man abducts her before he goes to reveal the reality to her. Michelle exerts his best to save that girl but in vain. Now it is seen that girl wakes up at a place. Where some people are present in her surroundings who are detecting her body and mouth. They are trying to know that she is not that kid who is invisible. Because these people are also unaware about his gender. Nor they have awareness who is he. When those people believe, this girl does not possess any power. 
There is another who is invisible then they leave this girl to other two kids. Who had been taken here for this purpose. Michelle thinks that he will soon go to rescue that girl after being invisible. But he notices that his mother has washed the costume as he goes to wear his costume. And he lost that power. Then he says to his mother, you wanted the same. I may not get success and act according to my will. Otherwise, you are not my biological mother. Saying it, he comes at the beach, riding his cycle. His mother is saddened after him. Now, Michelle encounters the same man at the beach, putting on black sunglasses. Who was seen before. Here he tells, Michelle. I also possessed the same powers which you possessed. You possessed it because you are my son. That person wearing sunglasses tells him that your mother had also the ability to disappear. It means, the wife of that man. He tells his son. I used to live in Russia several years ago. That country was ruined due to the nuclear bomb explosion. That nuclear reaction developed the superhuman abilities. Gathering such people, a group was formed. The leader of that group was Savage. He used us while keeping us in his custody. Many days passed, he continued to use us. I glimpsed a girl there during the time which I liked much. That girl is your mother. Afterwards, we thought when you came into being. No, you will not stay here under the cruelty of the Savage leader. We both fled, taking you. But that leader's team members began to chase us. So your mother sacrificed her life. And she instructed both of us to leave this place. She also had the ability to disappear. She is invisible from that time. I thought that I will never be able to bring you up alone as such. In this way, our both lives will be in danger. So I placed you in front of the house of the police officer. So your life may not are like my life. Here, Michelle, asks his father. Were powers not in my costume but I possessed it before. Then his father says, yes my son. You have inherited these powers. Michael's father also tells him that I can also read the mind. And that lady is the best who took the charge of your care by me. She loves you a lot. You may apologize her. Then Michael's mother comes the while searching for him. Then, Michelle, apologizes her in the same way advised by his father. Being happy, both return to home. He faces the same psychiatrist as he approaches at home. Who knew that, Michelle, can disappear. He attempts to reveal the secrets from, Michelle. Then, Michelle, runs from there. On the other side, the same girl is seen who had started to like, Michelle. And she was abducted. She is in a ship. And she tries to escape from there. There is an ultra-bright flashlight which spreads at a distance. The girl turns on it and, Michelle, instantly goes to rescue her. It was an indication where that girl is. Michael's foster mother begins to feel worried after him. Michael's father says, going to her, don't be worried. Michelle, has gone to a place. He will come soon. Michelle, had become more courageous and sharp. Becoming invisible, he goes to the ship and defeat them easily. And he saves those people. That girl says, I also want to rescue other people. Michelle, hands her over a gun and says, keep it for your safety. But that girl points the gun on, Michelle, unexpectedly. Michelle, is astonished and he thinks, there is another person involved in it. And she is under control. Someone had compelled her to take such action. The matter of the fact was almost similar. Michelle, knows after searching that there is an old man who is paralyzed but he had the power to hold sway over people whom he touches at once. He has controlled that psychiatrist and this girl. That satanic man moves the watercraft under the water, using it against, Michelle. Because he wanted to take, Michelle, in another country. They have taken, Michelle, there until Michael's foster mother or father arrive there. But, Michelle, employs his power in a perfect way. He locks that old man into a room after damaging all things. He himself comes out of that place. His mother is pleased, seeing it. There are also many people there as he comes out of that place. He disappears in front of them. Michael's father comes to him and says to him, My son, indeed, you have powers. But we have to hide it from the other other people as I have kept secret. Be careful for the next time to not use these powers in the public. Just live like a normal person. Then your life will be easier. Then his father moves ahead and removes the memory of each person. As they have not seen anything. When all people restore the memory related to the time before this incident. They have the knowledge that they all lost kids have been abducted. Then they think when Michael's had gone to rescue them. As being a best police officer, she also rescued the other kids. Then all people and children begin to compliment her. Next day, it is observed that, Michelle, goes to his school as a common student. The bullies start to tease and threaten him again. Being courageous, he says to the kids that it will be better to not tease me. The children are left astonished, hearing such response. In the end of the movie, 